from Florida is more fast paced than Oklahoma, correct? See or no? How much was an Uber from the location we were yeah. to like the closest mall? And it was like. I'm shredding weight like a shredded <laughs> piece of cheese coming out. <laughs> the only downfall while we're not living there, I feel like. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another hey. episode of Faith and Familiar. Today we have a little bonus, sort of special uh, video. And this is literally gonna be around life in Latin America versus life in the United States. We're gonna really focus in on Puerto Rico and Colombia. But we'll also talk a little bit about Kansas and Florida, like some differences. My wife is from where? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, but you <laughs> live in? Florida and, and Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And we live in Texas. In and Texas, just, all over the place. Yes. Uh, so we have different uh, perspective of different lifestyles that we've been uh, afforded to be able to live in with kids and without kids. And just, we want to share with you some valuable content from an expat perspective, living out here in Medellin, Colombia, and uh, sort, of, sort of some of the things that we're learning. Real quick, we'll go ahead and just share you being a young lady from Latin America. What are some things that really resonate with you outside of the United States? And what are some comfortable, good things that you like in the United States that you're like, I love these things about the United States. I love these things about Latin America. So what I like right now? About Latin America, just in general. Well, Growing up as a little girl, or right now, like. Well, I definitely love the weather. I love the food. Mm. Um, I love the, the people, how family friendly they are, how it's warm, you know, like as far as like relationships. Uh, the language, obviously yeah. it's so much easier for me to speak my first language then English be my second language and uh, let me see how hospitable people are yeah, and how that. serving they are that people acknowledge you and I love how there's so many things here they have everything yeah. I mean it's like I keep saying this but it's like you think about something and they sell it like it's just <laughs> there's no such thing as they don't have it or yeah. they don't make it they make everything here and I love their domicilios like i love how they deliver Delivery. everything here they don't have Am Cloud you know they do have see. amazon but this domicilio gets here way faster than than amazon, amazon. like Ooh. they have a thing called rapi like <laughs> rapi <laughs> and it gets here rapi <laughs> it really does 10 minutes and yeah. so i really love the convenience of that that you now, order something that and Puerto it just gets Rico? here fast do they no. have that in puerto rico though? i don't know so but i don't i don't all latin america places have that no, I don't think, I don't know, Puerto Rico doesn't have that, unfortunately. Mm. I wish, I don't know, the system yeah. is different over there and um, it, maybe it has to do with what's all they've been through and just how yeah. things are, the, the government is over there. But um, I still love Puerto Rico. I love the food, I love the people. La, they're, las playas. Las playas, la cultura, people la are kids. warm. They're, they're family friendly as well and yeah they're hospitable yeah mm -hmm. and uh let's real quick i know neither one is inherently better like every place has its benefits medellin is like heaven on earth cielo in el mundo cielo en la tierra yeah, la tierra <laughs> on earth <Close. laughs> close. that was close oh, la tierra is in the land but um what is difficult uh oklahoma offers this what does oklahoma offer from when we live there community community that was one of the special things even though you know latin america brings these very kind people around you um it's really tough there's these little divides like language barriers there's different things like man we're from a whole different place we're foreigners so it's just like ah uh, we don't know the current sort of culture around do we just dive into a relationship with these folks or these folks but in oklahoma no, it was okay. like really yeah. seamless on getting in community yeah. that's something special about a little place called oklahoma in the middle if you don't know where that is america it's okay yeah we'll you show gotta you go, a map because i didn't know that <laughs> that was even a state when he Isn't told me crazy? he was from Oklahoma, I was like, where know. in the world is oh. that? Yeah. And when I saw it, I was like, okay. When I got there, I was more surprised. But <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, it's, it was easier for us to make more friendships there in Oklahoma and getting in connection with community and 
and just different things to serve and all that, right? That's it was right. just easier. Yeah. And we had a car there. That's the thing, too. We don't yeah. have a car SUV here in Latin Kiro. America. But yeah. here it's Uber, Uber, Uber. Uber, and not all Ubers are, are big. They're not yeah. big in size for a family of five. It doesn't, it's very rare. So that's one of the things that we don't have here is a vehicle. So we talked about Puerto Rico and Colombia. Real quick, let's dive over to Oklahoma and Florida. What are some distinct differences between Florida, which is a melting pot of cultures? I mean, you probably got more Latin Americas living there than you do regular yeah. Americanos, I would think. Oh, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> we'll have to look up the stat on that. There's this unique blend of Latin Americas and Americans' influences. But also, while Oklahoma retains a more traditional lifestyle, you know, rooted in Midwest values, you look at the pace the pace is totally different florida is more fast paced than oklahoma correct see or no i'm not sure probably i don't know yeah. i would say or maybe some parts of florida same. are slower from the standpoint if we go to a place like dallas texas everybody is moving everybody's oh, running everybody's networking. working networking yeah. okay i see it's like fast life hmm. Like even uh, new york miami atlanta you know well, florida Nashville maybe now, yeah but if you look at somewhere like Oklahoma, you have a ton of people working from home, but it's not a big downtown city life. No. Not, not like other cities. No. What about Tampa? Is, is it more lively and vibrant or more people more chill? I think it's more lively, yeah. The beach life makes it a little chill, but people are still moving around doing stuff, getting things done. Oklahoma is a little different. You got people getting things done, but it's not that drastic. Yeah. People want to live cool, calm, collective lives, sort of like Latin America. But let's talk cost of living. Yes. Here we do Ubers, and it's like cost of living is so great, man. And the quality of life is so great. No, but, yeah, we have rented a car in Puerto Rico. Obviously, when you go through a company, it's gonna be way more expensive. But I looked up an Uber because I was mm. I was curious to know how much was an Uber from the location we were yeah. to like the closest mall, and it was like what was it like twenty bucks? Twenty bucks. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. and it wasn't. It was like five minutes. I was like, that's exactly. a lot. That's a lot of money to just give. I would, I would just walk. Rashawn said he will walk. Totally. But when I started <laughs> looking at the infrastructure of like of Puerto Rico, because this is our world now. Latin America is our world, it seems like. And our kids, some of them only lived in Latin America for more than a, you know, for their whole, most of their life now. But check this out. In United States, it's one thing. When you go to Puerto Rico, it's, it's very expensive for the things that you actually want to do. The beach is free. The best things are free in Puerto Rico. Yes. And we love that. Yeah. The only downfall while we're not living there, I feel like, outside of the Lord calling us specifically here, is the infrastructure is tough when it comes to like the health. We experience a little bit of health things yes. from my wife's family. Yes. We have some health encounters that we we got a sense of what the hospital is like and some of the stuff. But also, food is amazing. But the thing is. My track record when it comes to food like that. Your track that record? Good. I gained like, <laughs> I was what? so weighty. But when I came to Colombia, dude, I'm shredding weight like a shredded piece of cheese coming out. <laughs> I'm shredding oh a lot of weight by the grace of God, which is amazing. Just a lifestyle <laughs> change here. But the benefit, again, I don't think either one is better. I don't know they both have their unique so many unique things beautiful offer. things to offer yes 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 yeah yeah like puerto rico has the beautiful beaches the food is delicious you just have to know what to people eat too. that's yeah. all and then the people there's a lot to do for free you can move around with a car it's easier to get a car and yeah. move around um I and then lion america together. is great too but also uh, i find myself that i have to be more cautious like you know, you can't just walk around with Aimlessly. something expensive or giving papaya or like yeah. having expensive things, having that's your camera or go produce. Like that's a, that's the thing. Like you you in can't America, feel a hundred percent. Yeah, and like you can't feel a hundred percent safe because yeah. there's always someone that it's a need and you make it. Families robbed. are hungry. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's one thing. You know, like in, in this culture, like they have their histories and they have their their circumstances and. I don't know, we have to respect that, but then yeah. it's like you have to know, you have to learn each culture and adapt to it. Exactly. But yeah, like in Puerto Rico, you don't have to 
how you can be free to walk around with a camera do that yeah. because it's a little bit safer. more modern yeah. and uh you know the sort of financial you know way of life the lifestyle there is where you want to flaunt like most puerto ricans they dress clean they're sharp you know they have the chains on the, the sunglasses like that's the <laughs> type of people they are you know um but when you come to Medellin, again, you're not gonna see people out there just wearing anything, pajamas out to stores. They look nice, but they're not gonna wear like Rolexes, Rollies, and big chains and stuff like you do in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is more Americanized, I would it say. It is, of course. Uh, but the problem is more drugs, drug dealing, violence. Uh, violence. Yeah. We actually was on the freeway coming back from oh um, an amazing time together in out near Fajardo. Lo Loquillo. Oh, oh Fajardo. Fajardo. Sí, Loquillo. And uh -huh. there was a shooting on the freeway. And I actually seen a guy with a the massive gun, the same car. And come to find out later, that guy just did a shooting on the freeway. Because so it was on the news, like minutes stuff. later. Yeah. Yeah. And then days after we got to where we were staying in our Airbnb, beautiful place, beautiful people, beautiful neighborhood. And Isabella, you know, at the gas station, several hours after we got in that night, about nine o'clock at night, there was a shooting at a gas station. So you just really have to pick your poison. I mean, you got to pick what part of Ireland you're going to stay on and just be wise. Don't oh, go just, out doing crazy exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. I just, and uh, stay attentive. You have to stay alert in Puerto Rico. Just like you have to stay alert here, but it's a little bit different. People yeah. don't rob you. Like, people, uh, it's more like papaya, giving papaya here. But you don't get, there, it's not a lot of drug violence on this side yeah. where we are and things mm -hmm. like that. Over there, the, I think the problem in, in Puerto Rico is more like if you are at the wrong place at the wrong time and somebody's looking for someone and you happen to be there, yeah. that's the problem. They'll that's, take three of you. That's that's just like, that's 30, the problem. That's it. That it's like innocent lives being taken. Not because they're after you, but it's because you happen to be there so at that time. Or no, you're just like there and just... It's happening. Anyways, we don't yeah. want to speak on like, you know, like, the just so the neg negative because it's just life. There's um, brokenness everywhere. There's pain, there's evil, and there's good. So, you know, but Puerto Rico is a beautiful island. I love my people, love my culture. I'm yeah. always will be from there. And Latin America is beautiful too. It's, it's beautiful. And this is where we are right now. Yeah. And we get to embrace this culture and accept it for what it is. And, and then just see how we can make a positive impact in this community by volunteering, exactly. serving in ways that, yeah. you know, God leads us to. That's right. Um, now next. Well, and here's what we're going to close off and just share with you guys. It literally is about your lifestyle preference. If you're thinking about taking your family moving to one of these places in Latin America or going to the States or wherever you choose to go, no place is better, I think, than any. God created every place. He created all people. And um, it's all about preference and where is God calling you? Who is he calling you to more importantly? It's not about what and where typically, it's about who. Who is he calling you to? And go serve and serve your heart away. I like what Mother Teresa said. Uh, she was sharing something about the moment you get involved in something that's a work from God, like you'll find yourself, find it really hard moving away from that thing. So, hey, just know once you move into something, if you move into something where God wants you to sweet spot, it's going to be really hard to leave there. So be careful. There you okay. go. <laughs> awesome. All right. Anything else, Boo, that you'd like to share or encourage folks out there listening in? That's today? it. All right, y'all. Well, we love y'all. Faith and Familia, we're signing off. If you're a part of our community on YouTube, make sure you go ahead and, um, yeah, subscribe, rate, review. Is it actually review? It's comment. Subscribe. Subscribe, like. Podcast is review. Yeah. Okay. Subscribe, like, and comment. Awesome, y'all. Yeah. Let's go. Peace.